We all need good strategies that lead to positive, productive relationships with the people in our lives. And since we cannot be with your kids in our clubs right now, we developed this video series to share our favorite youth development tips and tricks with you. Hey parents, how many of you have asked your child after a long day of school what their favorite part of the day was? And they responded, recess. If you have an older child, they might have said gym or PE. Well, we might not always love this answer. It's not as bad as you think. There are a lot of great things that could come from children at play. Before we get into some of these activities, let's go over a few reasons why recess is so important and why we have to make sure our kids get outside and active. Recess gives opportunities to unplug from technology, reduce stress and anxiety and improve mood improve concentration and focus, and even helps with problem solving skills and leadership skills. Today, we're gonna get the blood flowing with some exercise and have a lot of fun with the obstacle course. Before we get into that, we're gonna do a light warm up. If you're ready, let's go. First, we're gonna start off with jumping jacks. Make sure you are given the appropriate amount of jumping jacks depending on the age of your child. We recommend for elementary age, you start with three sets of 10. For middle school, it should be three sets of 20. High school should be three sets of 30. Take a 30 second break between each set. Now that we are warmed up, let's do some stretches. First, we are gonna start with some neck rolls. Keep your arms to your side and simply roll your neck in a circular motion for 30 seconds. Now, let's move on to some lower body stretches. Spread your legs wide and reach down to your ankles without bending your knees. Reach each way and hold for 10 seconds. Now that you're all warmed up, it's time to get those legs moving. We're gonna do sprints. Remember, we always want to stay age and stage appropriate. For elementary, starting line and cone should be 10 yards apart. Middle school starting line and cone should be 15 yards apart. And high school starting line and cone should be 20 yards apart. Have each participant do a sprint through the finish line. Then line up at opposite cone. Repeat this three times. By now, some of your kids may be mad that you are giving them a full body workout. But now it's time to give them some decision making power. Challenge them to come up with an obstacle course, either in the yard, street, or somewhere safe where they can spread out. Even in the house, if there's inclement weather, you can still create something awesome. Challenge them to use items in and around the house. Be creative as possible. Recess is a time for enhanced curiosity and creative play. As a parent, try to give them these same freedoms as they figure out what they want to do outside. Recess can be a safe and supported opportunity for students to act independently and for them to practice responsible decision-making skills, self-management or emotions, and relationship building. Let's do our part in making sure our children still have this time that they care so deeply about. So whether it's exercising, soccer, hopscotch, painting, or obstacle courses, let's just make sure it's something they love to do. Now it's your turn. Let's see how creative you can get with your recess.